Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix Steam download speed drops to zero issue. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're wondering how do you actually fix this issue wherein your speed drops to zero. So this one is pretty simple. You could do other stuff here to fix that in, in, your, in your PC. So the first thing that we have to check here is our insert options. So at your computer here at the bottom left, just go ahead and search for internet options. And you want to go ahead and open it up. Now from here, you want to go to connections and go to LAN settings. Now, if LAN settings is actually enabled on your PC or in your laptop, you should be able to just click on LAN settings and disable a few sections on it. Like for example, like automatic detect settings. So if you have that, make sure that you disable that setting. But if unlike me, you don't have that enabled, as you can see, this one is disabled. Well, we could do another thing. So regardless if you can do this or not, we could do the other thing here on our steam app itself so go ahead and close enter properties and from here you want to go to the steam at the top left go ahead and click on it and you want to go to settings now under settings you want to go ahead and go to downloads and under downloads you want to scroll down a bit and you see the clear download cache section now in here what you need to do is you need to clear your download cache because sometimes if you have like cache is actually a term for temporary files so meaning if you clear some of the download cache here it's going to basically free up some space and basically help you improve your download speed so go ahead and click on clear the cache here and just click on confirm and it's going to shut down and restart steam and from there you should just basically try if that solves the issue now if that doesn't solve your issue well the next thing that you should check here is the memory that you have right now or your storage now if your storage is fairly old then you might want to consider replacing it sometimes the memory itself is the cause of this issue but yeah so that's about it so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.